What's going on all my gamers out there? It's the Universal Gamer and I'm here to show you guys my little elaborate setup for my new series I started on YouTube called Flip Through. A lot of people do gaming playthroughs, but I'm starting to do gaming flip throughs where I'm flipping through strategy guides and stuff like that, flipping through gaming art books and things of that nature. And my little setup became more elaborate than I actually thought. So I decided that it would be kind of cool to show you guys my actual behind the scenes setup of everything and how I filmed the video that you probably already watched already. Um, like I said in the video, I don't really mind other people doing flip throughs. It's not like I own that idea. Like the first person that ever did a gaming playthrough on YouTube, it's not like you had to get their permission to do more gameplay. So if you're watching this, if you want to do a flip through, do one. I'll watch it too because I really want to have, I really want to come up with more ideas of how I really want to do these flip throughs and stuff like that. So it's not like, oh, I came up with it. So, you know, uh, don't do what I do. No, I mean, I'm not tripping. Like, I, I I'm pretty for sure I'm the first one that made this up, but I'm not, I'm pretty sure somebody else already done this before, but I'm probably, I'm the one that's really taking it mainstream. So, um, let me take you guys through my setup. So I got the Rode video mic right here, since I would be standing right here and my mouth would be like right here while I'm bending down, no homo, and flipping through the, uh, <laughs> flipping through the book or whatever. Um, I set my microphone up, um manually so it can get the right amount of uh, sound and stuff without having too much hiss inside the background um i got my little uh tripod that i uh that came with my uh i'm just saying uh too damn much that came with my soft box lights that came with my uh, green screen setup the e-photo green screen setup um so and this little piece right here is like a little piece i had i've been had for a while and i just decided to use that so it can like actually move it up a little bit and then you know so that's that, you know. Um, this is a workbench, and this is like a piece of curtain, a black piece of curtain. I got these little clamps from the 99 cent store, real cheap, $1. Um, here's my Vari Zoom tripod. I love this tripod. If I can have sex with this tripod, I would. This is my favorite tripod I had so far. Um, I love this damn tripod. If you're looking for a professional tripod, and that's not going to break your wallet, but it's going to deliver a superb quality and, and, and performance, the Vari Zoom tripod, I recommend this. Um, so I got this tripod set up almost full length. I got my shoulder rig also hooked onto here with my Canon T3i on it as well with the battery grip on here. The reason why I did that is because if I were to have a Canon T3i all by itself on the tripod, I would end up getting some of the legs in the shot or I wouldn't really get the full shot. It, the shot would end up being way back here and stuff like that. And I have to zoom out some and it looked kind of it looked kind of bad. So, um, yeah, so I decided to use this since my camera, uh, my shoulder uh, rig kind of lifts up the camera a little bit. So it sticks it out a little bit more further up off the tripod head. So, um, yeah, Canon T3i. I do got a video camera, which I'm using right now. I've been using it for my gaming videos, but... I decided to, decided to use my T3i because it's super clear, super crisp, and I really want these videos to be real crisp when I show you guys the pages of the strategy guide and stuff like that. So, um, also, I got a long cable right here, audio cable connected to the microphone since the actual cable, of course, don't reach way over there. Um, I got my monitor, which I haven't even used professionally yet, but I brought it for some of my uh, professional videos I'm starting to do. Um, soon. Well, I'll already be doing professional videos, but you know, just more equipment for when I get my camera crane. I better have a screen so I can see what I'm filming when I got the camera up in the air and stuff like that. Um, like I said, more you don't really need something like this. You can use the T3i screen, like lift this down, turn it so you can see and see if everything's out of focus. But since I got this, I said I might as well use it since I got it. The only thing I don't like about the T3i through HDMI, for some reason, it doesn't put this to full screen in HD. The camera I'm using right now, it does put the full screen in HD and it looks amazing. So in my next video, I might use this camera or whatever, it's just so I can have a full screen in HD. But if I use this camera, it's autofocus and manual focus. So I got the, I got the option of autofocus, so what's the point of using the screen? So kind of defeats the purpose. Um, that other tripod you see that the screen is on, another uh, tripod to another one of my lights. These tripods are super cheap, um, literally and, you know, cheap. Um, but they work though. They, they're not bad at all um, Unless you're gonna put like a 25 pound camera or a piece of equipment on it. Then yes, it is bad But um, and then these also these other little pieces right here. I brought one of these separately. I brought this one separately This one came with this came with the screen. So uh, yeah, it allows me to screw that on screw the uh, equipment on there and then tilt it how I want to so 
that works like that. Um, Softbox light, the one that hangs down, that shines on you when you're in front of the green screen. I'm using that for a, uh, what, what, would, what would you call this light that's shining from the top? What do you call it? Well, it's called a hair light if you shine it from the top, if you're in some, filming a movie or something like that. But I call it a top light. You know, if you're, not, if you're just using it to shine from the top to bottom, just on everything, you know, I call it a top light. I don't know, whatever. And I got my light. I always turn my light on inside my room, rather, even if I do have the curtains open, just to fill, fill in a little bit more light to cast out, you know, uh, some, some shadows that may be some places and stuff like that. So, um, all right. So one key thing I forgot to mention inside the video is that, and I really recommend this, film upside down. As you can see, the camera is actually facing this way. But I'm filming, I'm turning this way, so everything is going to be upside down. And then inside that editor, turn everything right side up. So yeah, man, IGN, holla at your boy, man. You need somebody that, there's a new series I just started, man. Y'all can, can hire me, you know, I can do flip-throughs, you know, game trailers, what's up, man? The game spot, what's happening? You know, G4, I don't know if y'all still doing y'all gaming stuff, but what's going on, man? I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting for y'all to, uh, to holla at your boy. I'm about to go ahead and start filming this video. Of course, you already watched this video because I already filmed it, but I uploaded this video first. So, since you guys already time traveled to the future, I'm still in the past about to film this video for something that you already watched. Mind rape. Let that marinate. Peace. <laughs>